I have the OnePlus 7 Pro here, and today I'm going to show you the best version of the Google Camera port that you should use on this device, as well as the XML file that you want to import into that application to set the correct settings for this specific device. Now I will, in the full tutorial on my website, which you can find a link to in the video description for those of you who are watching this on YouTube. I will also be talking about how to do the same thing on the OnePlus 7. I don't have the OnePlus 7 so I can't show you how it works on the OnePlus 7, but I will do some research and find out the same uh, find out which port works best on the OnePlus 7 along with which XML file you're going to want to import into that application for that specific device. So, to install the most optimal Google camera port on the OnePlus 7 Pro, you're going to need to download an APK file and you're going to need to download an XML file. I will have both of these linked on my website in the full tutorial. So again, look in the video description. The tutorial for this guide or the, for this video has links and step-by-step -step instructions on how to do all of this. Even if you're unclear of how to manually install an application, I have a dedicated section specifically for that. So once you have downloaded the APK and the XML file to the OnePlus 7 or the OnePlus 7 Pro, you're going to want to open up that APK file either right as you had downloaded it or in your favorite file manager, whichever that may be. I'm a fan of Solid Explorer, so I'm going to open up Solid Explorer. As you can see, I have browsed to the same folder that I have my APK file and my XML file. And we're going to tap on that APK file. We're going to install that. You may need to uh, allow permissions to install from, from a specific source. In this case, it's from Solid Explorer. And now that the application has been installed, we can just go ahead and open it up if we want. We can grant it the permissions that a standard camera needs. And as you can see, it works right out of the box. However, we know that there are a lot more features built into the Google camera port that a lot of people want, but sometimes can't access because they do not have the proper settings set. Now, if you wanted to, you could go in the settings and tinker with all of these and find out what is best for you. But thankfully, we don't have to do that. We have an actual XML file that we can import in order to do that. So first, we're just going to open up the camera application and we are going to go over to the settings section you can see that there will be a general section that tells you where our save settings are you can see that's going to be uh, these settings are going to be saved into gcam slash configs. So we just go ahead and tap that, give this a basic name, and tap save. Just so you can see, whenever we go back to the camera application, and we double tap right underneath the shutter button in that black area, that we have the ability to choose an XML file from that specific folder. Now we went ahead and, cr and created this basic one so that the Google camera port would actually create 
that folder structure gcam slash configs and you could make that yourself you could go into your file explorer and do that i just find it's better to just go ahead and create one that way the gcam configs folder has been saved so now we are going to go into our file explorer application and we are going to copy the xml file into that gcam slash configs folder. We can see here, long press, copy, internal, gcam, configs, and paste. So now we have our sample one that we created and our SG one. So now whenever we go back to our Google camera, we're going to double tap on that black empty spot below that shutter button. And again, we get to choose a config. When we tap that drop down menu, we are going to select the SG slash space ARG dot one dot O dot XML. And we're going to tap on restore. And now that has set this Google camera port up with the proper and optimal settings again because there are a ton of settings in here specifically for the OnePlus 7 Pro now I do want to say that this will not give you multicam support or multi lens support that is possible with this specific port of Google camera However, it requires root access because we have to install a couple libraries and folders that we normally don't have access to. So I will be showing you how to do that in the future. For now, since most people do not root their device, I just wanted to show you the best, most optimal Google camera port version and the XML settings for this device. Because now we have a lot of things working like Night Sight, Photosphere, Photo Booth, and more. So there you have it. That is how to install the best Google camera port for the OnePlus 7 as well as the OnePlus 7 Pro.